My homegirls were just a big fan of Duke. But why wouldn't they be? They never really, they never really understood why we stopped talking. So they would always be like, "How's Duke? What happened to Duke?" And I'm like, "Can you stop asking me about this man? I don't know." We're in the club. It's two o'clock in New York. Hennessy shots is going and flowing, and she asked me about Duke, and I said, "You know what? Let me text him." Let me, let me see if I still got it. I know he going to pick up or he going to text me back. And, okay. And he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> so she texts me and I'm like, she's like, hey, dude, I'm like, yo, what's up? So like, I'm excited. Like, I'm not vindictive or anything like that. I'm like, yo, what's yeah. up? I'm And then we just pick up, right? Yeah. When we kind of reconnected and picked up again, it was a different us, I think. You yes. Know? I was more um, mature and more willing to say, hey, yo, these are my boundaries. This is what I don't like. And I can recognize my faults, but I also want to talk about your faults, you know? Yeah. And she was also receptive to, to, to know that, hey, yo, this is where I went wrong. So after all those butterflies left, Passed. right, <laughs> it became, okay, well, this person is emotionally sound enough to be the type of woman that I want to be with, you know? And I think she's able to um, acknowledge her faults, yeah. right? And that's really important for me when it comes to dealing with a woman because, you know, there's a narrative that women are really accountable. You know, and so if I'm going to put my all into a woman, I'm going to know that she's willing to look at herself internally and say, OK, these are my faults. So she's just not projecting everything that's wrong with us on me. You understand? And I felt comfortable to say, oh, OK, this is someone I could take serious now that I could move forward with. Got him. We fucking got him. Wow, this right here is crazy, bro. This pretty much confirms what I said about this couple yesterday. She legit picked this guy because he was her last option left. That's the only reason why she picked this dude. Think about this, bro. When a chick says, oh, like my homegirl likes him, my homegirls, they a fan of him. They are a fan of him because they know that he's a sucker towards her. They know, yo, that's that one sucker that you had. That guy was willing to do whatever for you. Like, what happened to him? And those guys are usually the nice guys who get left behind. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, whenever a chick wants to have fun and really enjoy life and fuck a whole bunch of dudes, she don't want to deal with the nice guy. That's why she took a break from this guy. You see what I'm saying? But it was one night back in the club again. The Hennessy was flowing. Then it's like, ah, I'm tired of dealing with these ballers. I want somebody who's going to take me serious. I want someone who is really going to love me. Bing. And she thought about him. And then she texts him. And make it even worse, she said that she knew he was going to pick up. <laughs> That's a woman who knows you, bro. She knows she got you. She knows you're that one dude who is always going to be there for her. Don't matter what whole shit she did because you don't see it. Fellas, be wise out here, man. Be wise out here, bro. For real. Let me show you how I'm going to talk to my husband. I cannot wait to talk to him. Oh, my God. You are worthy. I know that you can be everything that you aspire to be. And if ever you feel like you can't reach that, I'm here to assist you in any way that you need me to. I want you to trust your intuition. I want you to allow your mind and your heart to coexist. And I want you to know that I am on your team and never against you. Y'all, he gonna love me. <laughs> Shout out to my husband. He gonna love me when he marry me. Oh my God. Three of you in the room right now. You better look in my eyeballs. We ain't afraid of you, you stinking witch. You devil worshiping Satanist witch. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. We break your spells. We break your curse. We got your first name. We got your last name. We even got an address for one of you. You so much as cough wrong and I'll expose you in front of everybody in this tent, you stinking witch. 
And this is why a man should never pay attention to a woman's words. Always pay attention to her actions. Women are great actors, bro. Most women will put on a great acting show to get exactly what she wants. There are a bunch of women right now who are acting and pretending like they actually like a man just for him to marry them. Think about that. There are a bunch of dudes out here right now who are in relationships with women who are doing a great acting job. Well, as it is what it is, man. But the bottom line is pay attention to her actions, never her words. Don't let her words get to your head, bro. Pay attention to her actions, man. Look how she conducts herself around you. That's the only way you're going to know. Don't listen to the shit that comes out her mouth, man. Facts. You don't see this, man. But no, like her pictures. This is crazy. Well, you don't, like, no, no pictures. Bro. You just catfish me, bro. You look, you look nothing like that. Y'all see that? Show, show them people. You don't look nothing like that. You don't look nothing like that, man. That is crazy. She straight just catfished me, bro. I just flew her out. Yeah, I flew her out. I was gonna take her on a 10K shopping spree. Well, but now that, now that I seen her, now that I seen her, she don't look how she looked on Instagram, bro. No. Like, this is just crazy. Really? You don't. You don't. You told me to come here that you had a whole penthouse. This ain't no penthouse. I ain't tell you I had a penthouse. First of all, I told you you was gonna be down here for one day, and I was gonna take you on a 10k shopping street. Okay, and but what now, you got on? But now that I'm, I'm, you, I'm, you I'm chilling. No, I'm chilling. I just woke no, up. Turn her, all the way around. Y'all see how she not turning all? Stand up and turn all the way around. I don't She's catfish, bro. This is crazy. Her ain't, her ain't combed out. It's done, but it ain't, it ain't combed out. Eyebrows ain't done. No eyelashes. You ain't got no eyelashes on. Your eyebrows not done. And then I know you probably, probably ain't take a shower today. I'm like, well, man, y'all see this, bro? I need my plane. I, 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 hey, I, I need you. my plane ticket uh, money back. I need that back. Run me that back ASAP. Run me that back ASAP. I'm finna expose this girl, man. Put this right on my Instagram, but you bro. Me also. I ain't. Hold on. First you of all, that two hundred, three hundred dollars finna get back right, right back to me. So you might want well run me my my stuff no. back. Run me my stuff back, no. bro. And then I'm finna put you out right after I do that. No. So run me my money back. Not, no. Run me my money back. Not Run me my money back, bro. No. They, they you didn't just catfish me, bro. Be my way back home. I'm, I'm so mad that I didn't even FaceTime this girl. Like, we was literally just chatting through the DMs and, you know, texting on iMessage and stuff like that. I didn't even know she looked like this, bro. That's why she I not, that's why she not like turning it. all the way around because she know she ain't turning all that. That's sad, bro. These females are her catfishing well, people, man. Use all these them? Snapchat. See these look. You're a these Snapchat filters got me, man. You know what I'm saying? Them Instagram filters that they, they caught me off guard, bro. It, it's sad, bro. And, and you, you want me to? Like and you want me to take you on a, a 10k you shopping spree? You want me to take you on a 10k shopping spree? Like what? First of all, I didn't tell you. Come on, you man. Offered that, but nah. I don't see 10k no Nah. Cause what I'm what I'm now, what I'm what I'm taking you to now you now she talking about my room y'all now she talking about the room the ain't nothing wrong with this room nothing wrong with this room but you 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 in it though I see you came here though you flew you flew yeah, out though you, you flew out though stand up let us let stand up stand up right quick see see how she don't want to sit up she know she a catfish I'm not no that's crazy bro stand up turn around turn around. Turn around. Nobody want to see your, your your body. Turn around. Turn all. Y'all see that? Catfish. Well, That's crazy. She catfished me, bro. You can get out she my cat Instagram. Look at she. She got me. She got me. You finna go. Come on. 
Come on, man, get your stuff up. Females crazy, man. Get your get your stuff. Why are you throwing your phone at me? Get you your have stuff. To move me. Get your stuff. You have to move get your stuff. Move me. Get your stuff. Move. Get your stuff. I'm gonna move when I wanna move. Oh uh, yeah. Move. Me. I'm, gonna have, move her, move I'm gonna have to move her, y'all. I'm gonna have to move her. I'm gonna have to move her. I see I gotta move her, y'all. Yeah, move. Come on. Come on, get your stuff. Don't touch me. Come on. Stop touching me. Come on, man. You finna go. I'm You're not playing. Man, come on. You finna get out of here, bro. Stop, don't get, touch Come me. on. The door over there, bro. I'm not going nowhere. Come on. You, you finna go. Go. Go that way. Go that way. I'm not going nowhere. Get your stuff and bounce. Get all your stuff. Get your cover. Hold on. Come back. Get your cover and you finna get. Put your okay. shoes on. Your jacket. All that. Catfishing around here. Man, these people need to make sure she don't steal nothing. Yo, first of all, she don't look bad, bro. She don't look much different than how she actually do on her Instagram page. I just feel like dude is just a bit too uh, meticulous, but this is the best you probably gonna get, bro. Like, you're not gonna find a chick looking exactly the same after she added in a few filters and all that. But the bottom line is she still looks good. She still looks fuckable. Once she passed the fuckable test, like if you met her online, you should be thankful because a catfish is when you meet a chick online and she looked absolutely nothing like her online photos and she's not fuckable, all right? So you really should count your blessings, bro, because you gotta look at it like this, bro. You, Vanessa, you was the one who told her that you was gonna take on a shopping spree and all that, knowing that you was just talking shit to her because you know that's what a bird want to hear you know what i'm saying like if you tell the birds you got some crumbs the bird's gonna come that's just the bottom line but bro knock it off bro like your tv's on the floor <laughs> you know what i'm saying like your tv is on the floor but you was able to still pull a bird off manipulation be happy bro count your blessings and keep it pushing man but don't complain about petty shit it just make you look like a sucker bro because if any real dude met this chick online he wouldn't be mad and he wouldn't call this a catfish facts If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.